welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is a very, very special one because I will be sharing with you guys one of my classes from my Females Connection course. I have never done this before. I have never shared a class before, but I know this can help a lot of you guys. Today, I am giving you guys a step-by-step -step on how to edit your Etsy shop's main page and how to make it look beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, and trustworthy. This is perfect if you just started your Etsy shop, if you are brand new, or if you already have your Etsy shop, but you just don't know how to make your Etsy shop's main page look good. If you don't know me, my name is Julia, and I own an Etsy store with my mom called Petite Flowers Studio. We have had our Etsy shop for eight years now, and after a lot of ups and downs, I am happy to say that we have established a very, very successful business. I love sharing my Etsy and business knowledge with you guys here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. If you are struggling with your Etsy shop or your business is just not progressing as much as you thought it would, or if you are someone who is brand new to Etsy, you just started and you have no freaking clue of how this platform works. Trust me, I get it because I have been through those two different scenarios. Thankfully now, after eight years and almost 22,000 sales later, I am pretty good at the Etsy game. On January 24th, the Females Connection course is opening up again. And if you are watching this video, if you are here, I know that this course can help you. I will teach you guys the exact same framework that I have been using for the past eight years and I will show you guys every single thing that I know and things that helped me get to over 21,000 sales. In this course there are over 10 modules, over 70 classes and as my student you will also have access to our private Instagram community where I share tips, tricks, and behind the scenes that I don't share anywhere else. The course will be available January 24th and it will close January 27th. If you want to become a student, make sure you sign up and reserve your spot with the link down in the description. All right, you guys, let's get to the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to leave me any comments with any questions that you guys have or any video suggestions. And also, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. So let's go to the class. Now that we have our Etsy shop, it's time for us to put it together to make our main page look beautiful, make sure it's catching the shopper's eyes, make sure we have all the information that we need. So let's go over it together and I'm gonna show you guys what I did for our Females Connection Etsy shop. So here we are on our main page. First things first is our banner. I don't love the banner. I am probably going to change it. I was thinking about a concept or of where I have our name and then a little bit about us and then our Instagram handles, but I don't love the way this looks, but I'm gonna leave it for now and I'll change it later. And that's another thing, you guys. Most of the time, what you start with you might not love it, you might not think it's perfect, but just start. Just use what you have, do your banner, do your logo. You might not be in love with it, but just do it, just start. In order to have an Etsy shop that you love and that in your eyes is aesthetically pleasing, it takes practice, it really does. You're not just gonna start and love what you have right away, so start practice, change things around, and eventually you will love what you have. But I did our banner, and our banner I made on Canva. Canva is like your best friend so <laughs> for your banner, for your logo, and to make your products. I have a whole video where I taught you guys how to make a banner on Canva for your Etsy shop, so make sure you watch that if you're not, if you're not familiar with Canva or if you don't know how to make a banner. It's super easy. And it's honestly really fun to do it and be creative with it. So make sure you watch that video if you're not sure how to make a banner. Same thing with logo. 
We did our logo on Coral Draw. That's the program that we use, but you can also do it on Canva. I can show you guys really quick. If you go on canva.com, it might be one of the first things. Yeah, right here, logo, you click on it and it's gonna give you so many ideas and ma the majority of them are free. If you see like this little crown, then it's not free, but a lot of them are. So you can just use what they have and then like put your name, something like that. Obviously these are pre-made ones. So a lot of people are going to be using it. Like I've, I've seen one person using this logo already. Like a lot of these logos look familiar because I've seen other Etsy sellers using it. But just to start, use what they have. You can change things around and within time you will perfect your logo and come up with something that you truly love. So just use a pre-made one or if you are familiar with Canva and you know how to use it, then just make your own. But just use your skills, use what you have and create a logo and banner. Over here is our name and then over here is our headline. So we say office supplies and printables for female entrepreneurs. In this section, don't do anything fancy. Don't try to be cutesy or funny. Just say what you sell because this is a place for your keywords and that's really gonna help with your SEO. So literally just write what you sell, use keywords and just be specific and to the point. Use your keywords over there. And in order to edit everything, you're gonna go to edit shop over here on your banner. And then over here, you can edit your logo, you can add your banner, edit your headline, edit your location. I'm actually going to change this. Over here, I have a picture of our logo again, but over here, I suggest that you do a picture of yourself. So that is what I'm going to do. So I edit this one, it's just a selfie. This is not the one that I'm gonna keep, but this is the one that I have on my laptop right now. I'll probably change the picture, but for now, that's the one that I am going to use. To edit your announcements, you are actually gonna go to your shop manager and then go to settings and info and appearance. Over here, if you want, you can also edit your headline, edit your logo, and then here is your shop announcements. Over here, we wrote just a little bit about ourselves. So we said, hey there, welcome to Females Connection. We are a mother and daughter duo that want to help female entrepreneurs build a profitable business. Regardless, if you're just starting your Etsy shop, small business, you are or you're thinking about starting one, we want to help you as much as we can. So start just by saying hi, you don't have to write anything long. You're gonna use your shop story to really tell your story and who you are and what you sell, what you started. But over here, just say hi and say what your Etsy shop is about. And then go into hours. I think everyone should add hours because it tells your shoppers that if they message you on a weekend, you might not answer them right away. So say, you can say whatever you want, but we say we are open Monday to Friday and closed weekends and holidays, but I'll be around randomly throughout the weekend to answer messages. So that just tells the shopper that you're not you're probably not gonna be around weekends and holidays to answer their messages. And then production time. Production time is where you're gonna tell your shoppers how long it takes you to make their products. You can go, if you sell digital products and physical products, you can talk about how long it takes you to make physical products and then talk about digital products. Here, we talked about the two different types of digital products that we sell. That is instant download and then the custom digital products, which are not instant download. We have to work on them before we send it to the shopper. So here's what we said, custom digital file. Once payment is processed and personalized details have been received, within one to three business days, the file will be customized with your information and email to the email address associated with your Etsy shop. Please know no physical items will be shipped. Wherever you get the chance to tell customers that your digital products are digital and not physical, do it because 
trust me, you will get a lot of messages of people complaining that they did not get their product yet on the mail. A lot of times people buy digital products thinking that they're gonna get the physical thing. A lot of people are not used to the digital world yet. They just think about physical. They think they're gonna get everything physical. So wherever you get the chance of telling them that this is a digital product and not a physical product, do it on your announcements, your shop policies, your frequently asked questions, your description, your picture, your title. Do it everywhere. It's gonna save you a lot of headaches and trouble. <laughs> And then we talk about the digital, yes, digital instant download. After checkout and payment has cleared, you can download your files by clicking on your purchases and downloading the files. Please note, no physical items will be shipped again. And then we end by saying, please take a look around our shop. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Let's go back to the Etsy shop. And on your announcements, if you have any like sales going on, you can also tell shoppers about that. Um, if you have any new products that are launching, if you have a new collection that you just added, you can always add that to your announcements as well. Let's scroll down. Okay, the about section, we have like this little picture carousel thing, and then we have our story. Over here, Let's go to edit. You can use that feature to add videos or pictures. You can add pictures of like behind the scenes of you making the products or um, pictures of your products. You can add videos, you can do whatever you want. As of now, I added pictures of our products, but later on, I'm also gonna do like a behind the scenes video. I'm gonna take pictures of like our office to show shoppers like behind the scenes and where we work. Just be careful because the like square format is a little weird. So like if you take a picture on your phone, it's literally gonna crop basically in half and it's only gonna take the first, like the top part of your picture. So whenever you're taking a picture for this part, just capture what you want right on top of like the camera. Cause that's how the format is. So just be careful with that, but definitely utilize the space, any space that you get to use to like show behind the scenes and make a connection between you and the shopper, use it. People buy from small businesses because they wanna support the person or the people behind this small business. They wanna know who you are, they wanna support you. So show them who you are, show them your behind the scenes, how you work, what's your office look like. You can do a little video utilize this space. And then we go into our story. Our story, we basically talk about our past. So we tell our shoppers that we had an Etsy shop in the past, a, a successful Etsy shop. And then it turned out to be me and my mom's full-time job. Then I started giving Etsy tips on TikTok and Instagram. And we decided to create Females Connection where we wanna teach everything about small businesses and Etsy shops, and we wanna help women become successful with their business. So that's the story that we use. You can read it if you want. On your story, I would just recommend that you tell them who you are, why you, what you sell, why you started, um, kinda talk about like the meaning behind your Etsy shop, what's your passion, and just what kind of message do you want to put out to your shoppers. Like, what do you want your customers to associate your brand with? Also on our SEO module, I gave another example of a story that you can write for your Etsy shop. Check that out. I know stories a lot of people don't know what to write. They might think it's too long. They might think it's too short. People never know what to write. So read what I have right now and then also go to my SEO module and see what I wrote for another example and that will give you a good idea. Around the web, this is where you're gonna add your social media links, you're gonna add your website. So over here, I added our Instagram and website. If you have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, blog, also add those things because if someone likes what they see, if they like your products, they also might be interested in following you on Instagram or they might also be interested in following you on Facebook. So add your social medias over here. 
and it's super easy you just like copy and paste like the link of your Instagram and add it here and then shop members even though it might just be yourself if you have no team you have no one else working with you still add as yourself add a little picture of yourself this is like the picture that I want to use over here I'll change that after this video but add a picture of yourself say your name what you do so you can say you are the owner and like or you can say you are the photographer you can say you are the maker you can say whatever you want add your name and then just say like just tell your shoppers what you do for your Etsy shop for us so it's me and my mom I still not I still need to add a picture of my mom over here but I said Hey there, I'm Julia. I'm in charge of all social medias and customer service. And for my mom, hey there, I'm Gladys. I take care of all the designs and product creation. Pretty simple, just tell them what you do. I've also seen people adding pictures of like their babies and their pets, like their dogs, their cats. Super cute if you wanna do that. I think that's adorable. Shop policies. In order to edit your shop policies, you're gonna go to you're gonna go over here, edit, and then you add all the information that you want. So if you have shipping, if you have like physical products, you can add shipping over here. Payments already set up for you, and then over here you can say if you want to do returns or exchanges. Since it's a digital file, we don't accept returns or exchanges, so we turn it off. And then over here, we say we accept cancellations within 24 hours of purchase. It's up to you if you want to do that. If you don't, we think that if someone wants to cancel, we're probably not going to make a product within 12 hours. So if someone wants to cancel it, that's totally okay. But that's up to you. You add what you want. And then after policies, we have frequently asked questions, which is a section that I see a lot of people don't write on. Again, any single space that Etsy gives you, utilize it, right on your frequently asked questions. And these are probably one of the most common questions that you're gonna get as someone that sells digital files, printables. I'm gonna read you guys our questions and then if you want, just literally copy and paste what we have, just go on our Etsy shop, Females Connection, just look it up, Females Connection on Etsy. And then you can scroll down and literally copy and paste all of our frequently asked questions. So over here, we answer how to download your items, where to print the printable. So where can the customer go to print? Where do I include the information of my invitation personalized item? Can you send me a proof before I decide to buy? And my printer says the resolution is too low. So these are the questions that we answer. Within time, you will know what are your frequently asked questions. As a seller, you will start to get like the same question a lot. And then you can add one over here. So you just go to add right here and then you do custom and write the question and then write the answer. Again, utilize the space. Some shoppers will read it, some shoppers won't, but it's always a good idea to have it. And I forgot to add, I forgot to talk about a feature that you can also use, which is updates. Updates are also a really cool feature. Like if you wanna talk about any updates that you, that you have on your Etsy shop, you are making new products, or you just launched new products, you can talk about it over here. It's kind of like a social media. They even say your fans, easily share shoppable fo photos updates with your fans on Etsy and on social media. It's like the Etsy social media. So it's a really cool feature, but you can only do it throughout the Etsy app. So get the Etsy seller app and then you can do any updates throughout the app and it will show on your main page. Um, we're also gonna use this feature once we have like products on our Etsy shop and we wanna talk about new products, we're gonna use this and I also recommend that you use it as well. So that is that for your main page. I think a shop that's like complete, like it has a banner, it has announcements, it has like these little um, about pictures, you 
tell your shoppers your story, shop members, frequently asked questions. I think a shop that has everything complete looks so much better than a shop that looks empty. I've seen some shops that don't even have a banner, they don't have an about section, they don't even have a shop policy, and it looks so plain. It almost looks sketchy in a way. It doesn't even look like someone is working behind the Etsy shop, so add all the information. It's gonna make your shop look so much better. It's gonna make it look beautiful. It's gonna make it look like full, and it's gonna make it look like it has like it's gonna make it look like it's alive in a way. So utilize all the space. Again, go to edit shop to edit anything that you want or go to shop manager. And then settings and you can go to info and appearance. Over here, you can also change your shop name if you wanna change or go to your about. Also over here, you can add members and tell shoppers your story over here and add the photos and links. So that's it you guys. Um, to take some time to work on your banner, to work on your logo, figure out what you wanna write on your announcements, figure out what you wanna write on your shop story and then get it started. You don't need to waste any time. I know a lot of people wait until perfection. They wanna wait until they have the perfect logo, the perfect banner. Don't do that because trust me, you will never start. You will never think it looks perfect. So work with, work with what you have, do your banner and logo on Canva and just go for it. Start right now.